Tom. Now, Brooks, uh, we noticed that uh, you made no mention of the rescue of Jessica Lynch and the special operations that went on. We understand that there is video taken by a combat camera team. This week, Mr. Flint revealed that he purchased nude photographs of Private Jessica Lynch last month in order to publish them in his magazine. He has since changed his mind and decided against it, saying she was a good kid and a victim of the Bush administration. Well, I'm a publisher. I'm always looking for photographs and articles that will sell magazines. Jessica Lynch is a different story. I worked hard on that story. And uh, by the time we got done investigating it, I was sick of my stomach. I felt she was a victim. If there ever was a victim, you know, she was a victim, and that's your right. The U.S. Army faked that rescue. That was all done in coordination with the Iraqis. They wanted to give her back to the Americans, and they said, no, we don't want her. And what they did, they needed the time to put together a Hollywood-type escape. You know, this has been misinformation and deceit from the very beginning, and somebody in the government or the military should be held accountable for it. What? George Bush wanted was Jessica Lynch to be his own personal Joan of Arc, you know. He wanted to show this uh, little young 19-year-old girl from West Virginia that couldn't even lift a gun, you know, much less fire it. I believe this is not a time for finger pointing. It is a time for truth, the whole truth, versus hype and misinformation. Because of the misinformation, people try to discount the realities of my story, including me as part of the hype. Nothing could be further from the truth. My experiences have caused a personal struggle of all sorts for me. It was understaged by media, all repeating the story of the little girl Rambo from the hills of West Virginia who went down fighting. It was not true. If anything would really sour your stomach on the press, that particular incident, which got a lot of press coverage, is the very thing that would do it. I interviewed several of the soldiers myself that was, was involved in that. It was pathetic, and, and the, uh, none of the mainstream, none of the mainstream media did that story. They didn't even touch it. CNN is on watch. What you need to know. Travelers are getting the message. Get the facts, not fear. CNN Security Watch. Facts, not fear. Not fear. Even though we're using the fear music. With the fear voice. And the fear font. That's to get your attention so we can tell you everything's cool. Here's your problem with mainstream media. It's corporate. The bottom line is what's important. You do it according to the book, and it's the corporate book. I'm a strange guy in the sense that when I watch the news of a night, I don't watch it to see what I can get from it. I watch it to see what they leave out. All the networks are starting to look more and more like Bill O'Reilly every day. It's horrifying to watch them. Because you have a warped view of this world and a warped view of this country. Well, explain that. Let me give you an no, example. I'm not going to debate this with you. Well, let me give you All an right. example of parallel ex uh, experiences. No, on September 14th. Here's, 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 here's on here's September the record. 14th. Here's what? the record. Okay. All right. You didn't support the action against Afghanistan to remove the Taliban. You were against it. Why okay? would I want to brutalize and further punish the people in who Afghanistan? Who killed your father? The people who in Afghanistan didn't father. kill my father. Sure they did. The Al Qaeda uh, people were trained yeah, there. The Al Qaeda people. What We're about See, I'm more angry about it than you are. So what about George Bush? What about George Bush? He had nothing to do with it. The director, senior, as director. He of had CIA. nothing to so do with it. the people that trained 100,000 Mujahideen Man. who were extremists. I hope your mom isn't watching this. Oh, I well, hope she... your mother okay. is not watching this. I think it started happening when um, the demise of the Bill Paley Empire, you know, and... Um, 
then that was just fueled by a like, good man like Walter Cronkite leaving, you know, and Frank Reynolds. Bill Paley is a pioneer in the industry. He had a core value, and that core value was the news. Everything else came second. He knew that news was so important it had to supersede the bottom line. And they never found anyone of any substance to replace them. They get, they get sexy cow and kind models, you know, to get up there and read the weather and the news. They don't know anything about reporting. Press has more and more become an entertainment function. A lot of the news, they, they try to spike it to the point where it's entertaining. You know, even if it's uh, the kind you don't want to hear. This is my last broadcast as the anchor man of the CBS Evening News. For me, it's a moment for which I long have planned, but which nevertheless comes with some sadness. For almost two decades, after all, we've been meeting like this in the evenings, and I'll miss that. But those who have made anything of this departure, I'm afraid, have made too much. This is but a transition, a passing of the baton. We hope you depend on us for the truth, because we're going to report the situation in Iraq without an agenda or any ideological prejudice. Some people out there in our nation don't have that. North Korea loves, uh, loves John Kerry. Why is Jesus so popular right now? Little Only 217 days until George W. Bush is re-elected. It'll take time to restore chaos. It's a bad boy, Bill Clinton. You're a naughty boy. He's flip-flopped on all these issues. I'm not right-wing. I believe in global war. A briefcase like this one could easily hide a bomb. Same-sex marriage. First, your advice is stay inside, don't drink, or eat anything. My personal demons are my personal demons. No, no, hey, that's shut not... up. No, you had your up. 35 minutes. Shut up. The press be totally ashamed of themselves.